Carmen Mohan here. Today we're gonna talk about how do you flip your tax refund. Now for those of you that don't know me, my name is Carmen Mohan, 28, self-made entrepreneur. I have a business tax office, Long Island, New York. I have been doing tax for the last five years. Now what I definitely want to do is provide you guys value and content and give you guys some information on some of the hard hardest topics that we don't know and those happen to be finances and taxes and credit so I want you guys to subscribe to my channel down below because I've been putting together all these informational videos for you guys so that you guys can use them to your advantage we just did a series on small businesses which was really dope so I want you guys to check them out but regardless today's topic is going to be five ways how to flip your tax refund now it's about that time it's tax season everyone's getting their money so I want to show you guys how to best spend your tax refund how to make the highest return on investment when it comes to your income tax refund so today that's what we're going to talk about let's get started so five ways how to flip your tax refund number one is going to be what invest in yourself Number one is the most important one because when we talk about best ways to spend our money, investing in yourself should be one. How are you going to make more money if you're not investing into yourself? What are some things that we could talk about investing into yourself? What does that mean? Now, investing in yourself could mean education. Pick up an extra training. Pick up an extra class. Pick up a class that's gonna teach you how to do a trade that's gonna give you another source of income. So let's do education equals class equals trade equals what? More money! Dollar signs. We all want the money, right? So what's another way we can invest in ourselves or spend money in ourselves? Now, you want to be a business owner, let's say. You want to be an entrepreneur. Let's say the route that you're going down to be an entrepreneur, you're going to look the part. What's another way we could invest in ourselves other than picking up a new hobby? We could invest in our image, right? What's some different types of examples that we could invest in our image? We could spend a couple dollars and go to a photo shoot. Maybe take some head shots, some full body shots. We could maybe pick up one or two, three pieces from a new wardrobe collection. If you want to look like a business owner, you want to be respected as a business owner, so you want to have a certain image. And we know that a lot of the times when it comes to entrepreneurship, our hard work is what's going to speak for itself, but at the same time, first impressions matter. So if you take a couple dollars and you invest it in your image, or maybe some photo shoots. Or maybe some content. Because your image is going to be represented by your content. Maybe the videos you're filming in your trade or something like that. It's worth it to spend some money in that investment. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? Now, what are some other ways we can invest in ourselves? We talked about picking up a new class, we talked about investing in our image, we talked about investing into some pictures or content or videos. So what's another way that we can invest in ourselves? Let's say now we're a little bit more advanced. Now we have some money to invest, we got a tax refund, we got a good job, we're making six, seven, eight thousand dollars a year. But now we don't, we don't have time to do the regular classes and learn trades little by little. Now we got a little bit of money to work with. What are we going to do now? Well, the best way to invest in yourself, or one of the best ways to invest in yourself, are going to be to attend workshops and seminars, and those mostly come with prices. But what's the top way? Coaching. Invest in some type of coaching. 
There's nothing like having a coach that's already built a successful business that you're trying to build. They've already made the mistakes. They've already cleaned up the mistakes. They've already built the systems and operation and they already have a successful business. That's who you need on your side. Now let me ask you a question. Is it worth spending an investment on a coach, let's say for 2,500, who's already done it and can give you a successful blueprint versus you spending $200 a month to figure it out? The 2,500 is hefty. It's a hefty bill price. However, in one to two months, you could be exactly where you want to be versus spending the $200 a month that's going to take you two years or a year and a half or a year. Which one sounds more pricier now? That's a good point. So the last but not least point I'm going to make in investing yourself is going to be to invest in a coach. Of course you're going to want to do your research, make sure they're credible, make sure they've actually built a successful business, but that's going to be one of the best ways that you can invest in yourself. Hire a coach. There's nothing like having a paid mentor that has to answer your phone call or has to be there for you when you need help or guidance. So, this is five ways, right? Five ways to flip your tax refund. What's way number two? Way number two is going to be start a business. Way number two, how you're going to want to flip your tax refund is going to be the most obvious, right? Start a business. You want to build wealth. You want to build your income. You want to build your streams of income. Start a business. How are you going to do that? Well, you're definitely going to want to tune into one of my other videos where we speak about how to organize your finances when starting a new business. That's definitely a good pointer. But when starting a business, you're going to want to do what? You're going to want to build a budget for this business. You're going to want to pick a field, incorporate your business. You're going to have to do what after that? You're building a business to make extra money on the side, right? So you're gonna to wanna to build a brand for this business. So we're gonna build a brand. What does that consist of? A logo, a website, maybe some marketing dollars. We're definitely gonna to need to build our business and build some momentum for that business. How are we gonna build momentum? We need an audience. All those things are gonna take investment dollars. So using your tax refund is going to be the best way how to get that ball rolling, don't you think? Let's talk about number three. It's a smooth transition into number three. What do you think number three is going to be? Number three is going to be a segue from number two. Number three is going to be turning your passion into profit. How are you going to do that? What are you good at? What's your specialty? What do you like to do? You may have a nine to five as a RN or as a nurse making good money. But what do you enjoy doing? What do you like to do? Maybe you like to cook. Maybe you like to teach dance. You can literally take whatever your passion is and turn it into a profit. And how do I mean and what do I mean by that? Turn your passion into profit. What do you think I mean by that? I mean for you to take whatever you're good at Except this one's a little bit different because it's your passion. 
So how are you going to roll that out? Well, you're on YouTube right now watching this video, aren't you? So obviously the first step is probably gonna be YouTube. And even if it's not YouTube, the first step is going to be take what you're good at and put it on film. Do some photos. Build some content. Now, what do you think that's gonna do? Building that content. It's gonna build the audience for that content, right? So if you tell people I'm a cook, you can even tell them on your YouTube channel or on your blog post or on your podcast. I'm a cook, I'm an RN during the day, but I like to cook. Take some of your best recipes, throw it on a, fil a film, throw it on a blog, throw it on YouTube. And show them how you make your favorite recipe. Do that twice a week, three times a week, for two months, for three months and watch that momentum grow. At that point, you're building an audience. So what do you think happens after you build that audience? You segue yourself into some profit because now you can sell an ebook or an online course. Some of you may say to me, well, Carmen, I don't know how to do that. And honestly, that's a cop-out plea. There's so many resources for us to use out there on how to build our businesses, especially when it comes to online businesses. So let's go to number four. It's only 2000 3000 5000 It's very simple. A lot of you hear the real estate gurus online say, how do you invest in real estate? No money, no credit. A lot of you may think that it's fluff, but there are actual ways to invest in real estate with little to no money and no credit. How are you going to do that? One of the ways to do that is to wholesale properties. How are you gonna wholesale property? Well, I will tell you to take your tax refund, do some research when it comes to investing in real estate. You can even take your tax refund and become a real estate agent just to learn more of the ins and outs on the back end. But one of the main ways, one of the main ways that most people do invest in real estate, especially when they're starting out, is gonna be wholesaling properties. And now how do they do that? When you're wholesaling properties, you have a property here, property A. Property A is either under foreclosure or property A can't pay their mortgage anymore or whatever the reason is, property A is looking out of the house. So you have someone come and say, hey, I can sell your house for you or get you out of that mortgage for you now. What do you need? What's that dollar amount? Whatever the case is, whatever that dollar amount is, if I wanted to wholesale properties, I'm gonna go to property A and tell them, let me put your property under contract. That contract, I'm gonna to go to one of my lawyers and have them draw up a contract for me. That contract is gonna have a very small dollar amount on it that's gonna secure that contract for 30 to 60 days. So that means that I could have secured that contract with $250 or $100 or $500 with a very small minimal amount, but I'm gonna have my drop, my lawyer drop that contract and I'm gonna have him draw it up to me so well that I have an exit clause. And that exit clause is gonna allow me to either resell that property in 30 to 60 days or what? 
or it's not my problem anymore. Or it goes right back to owner A. So I'm gonna say here, this is contract. Let's say I have investor B that I know flips properties. Let's say homeowner A, for easy numbers, owes 100,000 under that property. Let's say the comps, for those of you that don't know the com com comparables analysis in that area, or the pricing for exactly what that house is worth in that area at two bedrooms, two baths, two floors. That's what comps are. They're gonna give you the price estimates on that exact house in a five mile radius. So let's say the comps on that house are 300K and they only owe 100K. I'm gonna go to investor B and I'm gonna tell, hey, I have this house for you. He's gonna say, really? I'm gonna say, yeah, he's gonna say, how much? I'm gonna say for 125K. And for that 125K, He's gonna say, wow, that's a great deal. How much are the comps in the area? I'm gonna say, well, the comps in the area go from 275 to 300. An investor is not going to wanna buy a property that doesn't have a profit margin in there for him to make. So when investor A buys this property, what do you think happens to that 25K? It goes to me. And that's how you, or that's how most people, invest in properties with no money or no credit. They wholesale the property. They throw them under contract for 30 to 60 days. They resell it to another investor or another party. And they make the profit in between. What's another way we can invest in real estate using our tax refund? We can learn real estate from the back end going to work for an agent and understanding what's in our areas, what's selling in our areas. Once we know what's selling in our areas and once we know what the areas are that are gonna sell more, we have a little bit more leeway when it comes to find houses for investors to sell to them. Another route we can take when it comes to investing in real estate is gonna be hard money lenders. Hard money lenders are basically private banks. Now, these aren't easy routes to take when it goes to investing. They're not meant to be easy. These aren't intricate routes. People aren't going to hand you over thousands of dollars worth of property or assets if you don't know what you're doing. But the whole point of today's lesson is to break down and open your minds and understand how you can build and generate wealth. And how you can do that starting now and even if you can't do it starting now, how you can educate your friends or your peers or your family starting now. Because at the end of the day, in order for you to build well, you have to first change your mindset, change your goals list, understand what those goals are going to need to actually make it happen. They're gonna need something. They're gonna need dollar amounts, they're gonna need coaches, they're gonna need a team. There's a lot of things that every obstacle is going to need. Well, let's go into our last way on how to flip your tax refund. And we'll wrap this video up. So for number five on five ways to flip your tax refund, you can do making money online. Now, there's multiple ways for you to make money online. There's networking companies. You can take surveys and get paid to take surveys. You can use apps and test apps and get paid to use apps. We spoke about your passion. You can build out webinars. We can do blogging or podcasting that we spoke about earlier as well. There is so many ways to generate income on the internet that it's ridiculous. 
but I want you guys to hear this video and hopefully go out and search for the resources and the tools that are out there for you because this is not secret knowledge it's out there you just have to be willing to go out there and find it but either way that's all for today's lesson so that's a wrap for today's video five ways how to flip your tax refund one is going to be investing yourself two is going to be start a business three is going to be turn your passion into profits four is going to be invest in real estate and five is going to be learn how to make money online now I dropped a lot of gems in this video. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, I want you guys to hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channel. Any questions, comments, hit me in the DM, drop a comment below, reach out to my social media, at Miss Carmen Mohan. I'm here to answer your questions. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And that's all, folks. <laughs>